Howdy folks, Kerbo here. We're going to take a look at Farming Simulator 22. Never thought I'd be playing this game. <laughs> and uh, it's really hard to record this, even just trying to stop the recording. It's been frustrating. But uh, here's the story. So after Farm Sim 19, well, for those of you that haven't been around the channel, I've, I've got maybe two, 2,200 hours between Farm Sim 17 and 19. Had a good time. Frustrating, buggy, sure, whatever. You have to use mods. Had a lot of fun, uh, but I decided not to continue giving Giants any money. Didn't want to do FS22. Um, they just don't seem to innovate or fix things. They use modders as a crutch. Yada, yada, yada. I'm trying to not rant too much in this video. I know this is scripted. All my videos are just me playing games, so this is just off the cuff. Um, but when it was coming out back in, I think it was November of 21, um, I asked for a review key. So I'm like, you know, if they'll send me a key, I'll give it a fair shake and try it out. Um, they didn't send me a key, which is fine. I have a tiny little YouTube channel. I get it. Uh, but lo and behold, a few days ago, uh, they did send me a key. I'd ask on uh, Key Mailer, where I occasionally get people send me keys. Uh, they sent me a key. So I'm like, okay, I'll go check it out. So I did a stream on it. Some of you might've seen that live stream archive on the YouTube channel. And I mean, the, the lighting's a little bit improved, the sound is good, uh, but it's still the same old frustrations of why I didn't want to continue. But I'm going to make some videos, probably do two or three videos. We'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll, we'll give it a whirl. And I, I kind of went back and forth. I couldn't decide, because mods, at least for me, how I want to play, those, those are required for Farming Simulator. I'm not even interested in it if it doesn't have mods to fix all the problems. But I went back and forth, you know, do I want to do these videos on vanilla? Do I want to do it with mods? I finally decided to go modded. Um, right off the bat, it doesn't save the name. Like you can set a name in the settings, but it doesn't save it. So I just have to remember that this is the Twitch stream. This is, I can tell it's a different map. This is a modded game that we're gonna play. And this is a vanilla setup that I had set up to uh, initially, I was gonna record vanilla, but we're gonna go modded because I just can't take vanilla. It's too bare bones. So let's dive in. Uh, we're gonna start out in the Western wilds, kind of start from scratch like I like to do. And you can see here, I've got a bunch of mods to make it playable. And one of my biggest beasts with giants is most of this stuff should be in the game. They just rely way too much on modders. Some of these are dead simple too. That wouldn't take hardly anything to add to the game. But anywho, I'll try to remember to put a list of mods in the video description. So you can check those out or you can pause the video and take a look. It's mostly just making things uh, more better, more realistic uh, and some quality of life type stuff. But let's dive in. I've already got one field sort of blocked out. Been doing some plowing. So what I did, it says uh, easy f mode or whatever. What I did, and this is one of the mods, third person, yay. <laughs> All the animations stuff are there because it has multiplayer. Anywho, uh, I started out with new farmer mode. So we have all the equipment you would get with new farmer, but I went through in the settings and set it back to like realistic hard mode, like I like to play. Uh, just so we have the equipment and we had this little uh, initial bit of property out here if we take a look at the map we have uh plot three here got all this just kind of wilderness so i've started blocking out a field here i've made the uh the headland around for the square and been plow uh, cultivating here with the styre 8150 which sounds good it's a really good sounding tractor and like I said, the sounds are fantastic. Uh, they did a really good job updating the sound engine. So no complaints there. The tractors and stuff still feel like you're driving styrofoam. There's no sense of weight or mass to them. Uh, I wanna turn back on allow create fields. That should do it. I'm not gonna run uh, course play or auto drive any of that stuff. We're not gonna be doing big, big time farming. So we don't really need that. Uh, three? Oh, I'm not in gear. 
Right, I forgot. So I had trouble uh, with this tractor hunting gears. Like it, it just can't find what gear it wants to stay in. So I've set it to manual mode. So I'm gonna get this back in low three, I think is what I found worked out pretty well for cultivating. Is it low four? I've forgotten now. Maybe it was low four. We don't want to blow the engine up. So I'm running mods, uh, the REA mods that change like the the wheel slippage and the center of gravity, that kind of stuff. So we do kind of have to maintain a, a track here. You can see the wheels kind of falling into the field. That's the kind of stuff that just I really wish they'd put in the base game. They make it realistic, make it drive like a tractor, not a car. But I'm going to try not to rant too much. We're just going to farm. We're going to make a couple fields. We're going to plant some stuff. And we're going to see how it goes. Probably could have turned a little smarter there. Now, I do have the GPS mod, but this tractor doesn't have GPS in it. Right, let's get lined up. So this is what I've been doing. I made the rectangle. There was you can kind of see in the grass how there's supposed to be a field here. So I just kind of followed that. So I'm gonna run back and forth a bit here. Might do a little bit of time lapsey type stuff. And I'll see you on the other side.
just about done finally one thing I did uh, use to help is vehicle control add-on VCA as a like a snap to direction option so that was pretty handy you can see there it's turned off tractor likes to wander a bit so I did use that to help maintain guidance um, I like how the REA mod makes the tractor and implements react to different ground types. Like it pulls harder if you're on virgin ground versus already cultivated ground. So Giants, why wouldn't your farming simulator do that by default? <laughs> that kind of stuff drives me nuts. But we have mods that make it better. See how we're just flying down through here? Better grab fourth gear here. We're hitting the red line there a bit. Oh, back down into some tough ground. There we go. Here, I'm going to turn off allow create fields. And uh, yeah, that worked out pretty well. The, other than the hunting for gears, uh, the new transmission stuff seems to work okay. So is S like street? Low, medium, and street maybe? I'm not sure what that means. So, we're done. Um, I think now I do have the Precision Farming DLC that's free. So we need to check out our uh, like nitrogen level, I think. I'm, I'm still kind of a noob when it comes to that stuff. I, I did use it on the stream that I did. Uh, we need to go check the field so we'll know what our, oops, what our fertilization levels are. So that's a step in the right direction. I'm glad that's a free DLC. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that off. Oh, right. I have manual attach. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm not sure if I can squeeze back there. Whee! <laughs> yeah, I forgot I had manual attach turned on. There we go. Um, some of the new AI stuff is good but I had a little trouble getting it to work but I think that just drive drive here seems to work okay so if I come over here and I say and you gotta do a lot of scrolling uh, set destination here that's the AI driving now this is not a giant's map so keep that in mind I'm not sure how the pathfinding works. While they're heading to the store, I was looking at the used vehicle sale. Uh, this is a nice feature. This is good. You can buy used equipment at a discount. So that's cool to finally have that in game. Um, I think that was a mod. So they take, they take the good mod ideas and put them in. Seasons is pretty dumbed down from what I understand. So unfortunately, we don't have a good Seasons mod anymore. We just got the watered down built-in version. But at least it's something. Uh, so I want to go to here and miscellaneous, maybe? Yeah, I think I want this guy, the Scout. Where do I want this guy? I don't actually know. Does this go on the tractor? Does it go on the front, maybe? And then it knows? And do I have to have that in on my tractor? I, I don't I don't know. I didn't read up on this stuff, unfortunately. Uh, let's go take a look in the store. Let's see, is this the where's the edit chap? Over here, here we go. 
Let me see if I have to buy something on this tractor to use that pro thing, because I think I saw that somewhere. This has a handbrake, but I don't remember what the key is. Let me look real quick. PCA. So it's semicolon. But it puts it in, in P gear. Okay, cool. I like it. So we come over here. And I can repair it. Now I want to customize. Yeah, so I think I have to add this. The Iceria Pro Compact detects the real nitrogen demand of your crops. Oh, so that's built into the tractor or you can buy the thing? Is that how that works? Compared to the Iceria Pro Active, this sensor can only be used at daytime. Oh, so this is the compact version. And then in the shop, we have the pro. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's just get the one that's built into the tractor because I'm not, I'm only going to have uh, one tractor. I don't think we're going to be getting any more of this series. So let's spend a little money on that and it'll be built in. Uh, yes. Okay. We hop back in the tractor. And then, do we have to do anything? Turn on, oh, okay, turn on crop sensor, okay. So, do I have a fertilizer spreader? Because I think we'll need to fertilize. Ah, uh, do, 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 plow, cedar, yes, I do, okay. Oh, it dropped my weight off. There we go. I think it's alt view to raise that one. Beautiful. Handbrake off. Put it in road gear. So I should have brought my fertilizer spreader over here. That would have been the smart thing to do. Let me run back to the farm. We'll enjoy some of these sounds as we buzz back over to the farm. Whee! <laughs> Now, I'm just using mouse and keyboard to drive. I didn't bother hooking up a controller or my wheel or anything. Now, the bounciness and the suspension looks and feels pretty good. But like I said, there's just there's no sense of weight. I really like how cattle and crops vehicles feel. And I just don't get that in farm sim. It's it just feels like they have no mass. All right, there's a fertilizer spreader. Let's just grab that. At least we're not very far from the shop. All right, let's go ahead and put our handbrake on. I don't know that that matters, but we can get around here where I can see what I'm doing. So I need to attach that, and then I think I need to hit, is it Z for the, doesn't this have a PTO? Nothing's happening, there we go. Maybe it's hydraulic? I'm confused. Don't see anything hooking it to the tractor. Like hydraulics or anything. So I'm kind of confused as to how this thing works.
Oh, so it has hoses and connections. There must be a... I must be using the wrong key. That must be what's going on. I thought it was Z. That's well, what it used to be back in the day. Ew. All right, bear with me. <laughs> uh, manual attach, manual discharge, manual attach. Yeah, Z. I'm pushing Z. No? Oh, hold to attach hoses. There we go. Old Z. Okay. I know everybody was screaming in the comments. We got it. All right, back to the store. Uh, see, is it in to take the tarp off? There we go. We'll go get this bad boy filled up. And we'll see if we can get the sensor thingy. I think with the sensor thingy, I don't need the scout probe but I could be wrong we're gonna figure it out as we go here learn by doing I like the idea of this map uh, but it feels a little bit contrived all right so if I buy See, and it has the magic seed still. Like, if I'm planting wheat, I should buy wheat seed. If I'm planting corn, I should buy corn seed. It's still just this. Uh, K plus S. What else we got? Road salt. Okay, so they got that built in now with the seasons. So I think lime is our pH, and then this will be everything else. I think that's how that works. There it is. Uh, is it R to refill? It is. Oh, the bag's shrinking. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it only filled it halfway. But we have a tiny field, so that should be enough. I would think. So let's go see if we can figure this out. Uh, we got inert nitrogen mineral fertilizer application. So you can set it to auto, which I think ties into the sensor. Or you can actually set the application rate now, which used to be a mod, I think. Although it didn't matter back then. But it does actually matter now, I think, with the precision farming DLC. So we'll get back to the field, we'll turn on the sensor, and we'll see what happens. If you want to see somebody that's prepared and knows all the stuff, uh, there's plenty of other YouTubers out there. <laughs> Me, I'm just, I'm just playing, soaking it in, trying things out. See how this works. Now, if I were going to use this VCA again, does it... Yeah, it doesn't know the width. There's a key for that. Do 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 do. Control Alt W. Oh, there we go. Then we need to shift it. So it's just Control Number Keys. Okay. So this is sort of poor man's GPS. That'll let me know where I need to be. All right, let's get back down into... Uh... What's weird is, like, you'd think you'd go minus gear, 
but it's it's plus to get down when you're in reverse gears. Maybe I'm thinking about it backwards. All right, we want to be in medium probably. All right, so if I set on my field and it was Alt B to turn on the crop sensor. Alt B. No, it's not doing anything. Uh, okay. That's no fun. Huh, okay. Does that not work with bare field? Maybe I'm thinking... It does say crop sensor. Maybe I have to have a crop? I'm confused. I don't know how that works. Yeah, more precise fertilizer rates. Maybe I still have to do this. But this just makes the application more accurate. Okay. That's probably how that works. Well, let's do this. Let's set you over here. And let's go by this thing. And we'll go grab that. I'll be right back. Alright, we got this little thingy-madoodle. Now I used this on the stream I did. I thought the sensor on the tractor replaced this, but I think it supplements this. If I lower that, is it gonna be a little? I thought it gave me a little circle. Maybe it's after you take a sample it gives you the circle. What was the key for that? Uh, unfold. Oh, there we go. We gotta unfold it. Then it gives me the circle. And what's it to take a sample? Take soil sample. And we can take three of these. You can see it fills up a little cup. So I really like this. Like this, you know, thumbs up to Giants. I like where their head's at, putting this kind of stuff into the game. I don't want to be just all negative, because there's, I mean, I've got over 2,000 hours in farm sim. There's a lot to like about it. I've just been frustrated with kind of the lack of innovation and realism. That's why I was not going to play it anymore. But, you know, they were nice enough to give me a key. So we're going to play it, check it out a little bit. Now, I, th I think from what chat was telling me on the stream, you can actually take like infinite soil samples, but I'm not sure. I'm going to take three and then send them in. I think I can get this covered with four samples. It's gonna be gonna be good enough. That kind of makes sense though. So you you send the soil for analysis, and then your your sensor controls a more precise uh, fertilization application. And then why to send them off? All right, now our little tray is empty. We'll get one more sample. It just takes like a minute or less, I think, for those to show up. Oops. I tried to honk my horn. It's not H.
I said, don't remember what the honk key is. Alright, we'll send that one in. I have to know now. Honk is... Oh, the zero, right. Right, I forgot. Alright, now we should have soil info. Let's see if we can figure out how to get fertilizer on here. In a... Uh, good manner. We've got a stall here in the barn. We'll stick that right back in here. And stuff like manual attachment. Just such simple stuff. Have it be an option in the game, Giants. I get it. Most of their audience doesn't care about this realistic stuff. I mean, from a business perspective, business perspective I get it as an end user though it's frustrating I want my simulators to simulate stuff okay so now we have info on the field So now can I turn my thing on? Turn on crop sensor. Change nitrogen reference value. No crop, oh, no crop, I see the defined print now. No crop detected. Seed first for best result. Oh. So you can't tell it what crop. You don't know what you're tar okay. It's kind of backwards, but all right. <laughs> so you should know your target numbers, but I guess in auto magical land it it doesn't know what your crop is because there's no way to tell it. All right. We'll get it figured out. I'll read the fine print. Let's go get some seed. This is gonna turn into a really long episode. Let me get some seed and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're gonna be planting some wheat. Uh, I do have pro seed. I'm not gonna do tram lines or anything. So I think, I think we're okay. Proceed to unfold the tool. Okay. This fruit cannot be planted in August. Really? I'm pretty sure you can plant weed in August. <sighs> pretty sure that's a thing. Apparently not in farm sim land. Uh, it says you can't plant until September. Okay. Well, tell you what, this episode's gone on long enough. I'm going to go sleep till September, which I've got three day season, three day months, I think. Three day seasons. So I think that'll just be sleeping one day. But And then in the next episode, uh, we'll get started with planting some weed. It's, it's been an adventure. It's amazing how much you forget in two years. Uh, it's like being a farm sim noob all over again. But if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.